Good afternoon, Spartans. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to use the gradient mesh tool. We've had one day of practice. Today we're going to attempt to create a somewhat realistic object, or at least for our second day it will be realistic enough, hopefully. All right, so we're going to go to back to the gradient mesh tool under the Lessons tab in Vector Easel and you will find a photo of a banana. Go ahead and click that. You're going to right click, copy image, and I'm going to go ahead and minimize the window. Go into Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to maximize that window. Okay, we're going to open up a basic RGB and And we will use our standard 7-inch width, 5-inch height. Let's call this Banana Mesh. Click OK. And as I wait, we will go ahead and set up our workspace go to the basic workspace here and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a touch move that over so what we want to do is bring out our color palette well, that's my swatched palette but there's my color palette okay so those two palettes as well as the layers palette Okay, so first thing I want to do is paste, since we copied the banana. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the move tool, letter V on the keyboard, and move that over, center it somewhat. Obviously, a little bit too big, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to shift option that so it uh, scales down and stays centered. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and uh, double click layer one you'll get the layer options window here. We're going to check the template box and then we're going to uncheck dim image. Normally you use this option for tracing but uh, and, and so you would trace a dim uh, image but we don't we don't want that dimmed. We want hundred percent on that so uncheck it and click OK. Alright I'm going to go ahead and add a layer above that Go ahead and call that uh, vector. Click OK. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a rectangle and we're going to drag it out. And this rectangle is going to be uh, roughly the same length as the banana and the same height as the banana. Okay? As close as possible. Now, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and do X slash X so that we just have the white um, fill. Okay? I'm going to go up to our object menu, go down to create gradient mesh. Okay? So we're going to do a preset gradient mesh. And you'll see that uh, you'll have a certain amount of rows and columns. I believe the default is three and three as mine is showing there. I'm going to go ahead and put two for the rows, two for the columns. And we will go ahead and click OK. And uh, from here we are going to reshape the box or the rectangle so it will look like the banana. Okay. First thing we're going to do is access our white direct selection arrow. We're going to go ahead and click and drag through the center. And we're going to drag this down so that it fits above or right on top of that banana. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Y to see the outline because we want to really see through to the uh, banana itself. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this to match the edge. Uh, I'm going to select just the bottom one as well to match the bottom edge. OK. 
Okay. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and go to the left end, select the left side, and I'm going to move this upwards. Okay. Notice the bend. So slowly but surely, we are going to go ahead and fit the box to the shape or fit the rectangle to the shape of our banana. Okay. Now I'm going to click only this corner, drag that up, and do the same with this one, drag that up, and I'm going to drag this up here and move this handle to match the curvature of the banana. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to go ahead and do my best to match the curvature of this banana. Now obviously we're going to do a couple more things over here. Not yet. Let's go ahead and do something similar up here. And I'm going to click on this one. Move that curvature down. Move this one up. And then move that curvature down. Now I've seen tutorials on this very banana. That might have been a different banana, but a similar banana. And someone uh, created a gradient mesh banana, vector banana. And uh, the coloring part of that tutorial was pretty good. But what they didn't do was focus on what I'm doing right now, and that's, that is reshaping the banana. I think that's important that we don't um, ignore that, because this, this can be kind of tricky. Okay, now, I am not going to attempt to reshape the corner here, the end of this banana. I'm just going to do a generic, sort of a rectangular shape. Maybe a little more organic than, than uh, a simple rectangle, but it's not going to be as um, complex as what you see in the photograph. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reshape this a little bit more. And there's the bell. Okay, lunch has just begun. I'm going to continue. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add an additional uh, mesh line. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right here where we see that distinct change in color. In fact, I'm not going to do it right on the line. I'm going to do it right above that line, right about there. This also will allow me to further create um, those little notches up the top. Okay. Now we also need to notice here we have a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and further reshape this. And I'm going to hit A to get back to my uh, direct selection key tool rather. Okay. Now I'm still in outline mode, so I'm going to go ahead and look at what this uh, look at what this shows me. Do Control Y. Looks pretty good. I actually like that shape, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, you can always come back and reshape things. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do Control Y yet again. And that's really important. Uh, going back and forth from outline mode to normal no mode. Now I'm going to take my eyedropper, and as you know, the eyedropper samples color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just sample the yellow right in the center here. I'm going to do Control Y. Oh, well that didn't work. Ah, I know why. First thing I'm going to do is do Control A, and what Control A does is it selects all the nodes, all these anchor points. Now I'm going to choose this color. And I'm going to do Control Y, and there you have it. You just have a flat banana here. Obviously, that's just the starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and reselect it. And now, we're going to go ahead and do Control Y, and we're going to go ahead and simply choose these top nodes. So I'm going to hold down Control and then Shift and select just these top nodes right here, these three. And I'm going to go ahead and let go use my eyedropper and I'm going to do control Y. 
and what do we have? So we have a little bit of a different color change there. Okay, I'm going to select that again, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do Control Y because we need to go back and look at that original photograph. And I'm going to hold down Control and then select the next row. Hold down Shift and I'm going to go ahead and sample this color. Control Y, still going. Okay. Now, I'm going to add one additional uh, gradient mesh line. So I'm going to go back to the line, to the tool. Uh, that would be letter U on the uh, keyboard, hotkey. I'm going to click right about here. Now, it might have been too far, so we'll have to just check uh, after we color it. So I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and select these other three. And I'm going to go ahead and hit I. And I'm going to do Control Y. It's getting better. Now, as you re might remember, the closer those nodes are together, as I'm doing right now, I'm pushing that a little bit closer, uh, the harder the edge. Okay? And so what I'm going to do, hold down Shift and Control, and I'm going to go ahead and choose. Um, of course, I'm out of the. I got to get back into the um, outline mode, right? Now I'm going to choose it again and see what it looks like. Okay, a little bit better. Let me do it again. Hold down Control and Shift to select multiple points, and ah. Uh, now it might be a little bit too hard, and that's okay. But what I can simply do then is hold down control and just move that down a little bit. Undo. Let me try that again. I didn't have that one single node selected. So it's really important that you just there we go. Important that you just grab one node at a time in certain cases. Okay. Alright, so I have a beginning here. I'm not going to be able to finish everything, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I am going to go ahead and um, continue working on the upper section here, and then I'll come back to you.